What's up everybody, Austin here. Today we're gonna look into changing the tubes in my Vox AC30 and go through some questions on how to change those tubes, what kind of tubes we should be using, uh, can you mix and match preamp tubes, tube biasing, that seems to be a thing with some mystique around it. So we'll dive into all that and you will walk away from this lesson knowing much more about tubes and amps. All right, so to first answer the question of where I got my tubes, um, I wasn't really sure either myself, but I Google everything, and so it looked like Tube Depot was a pretty reputable top search company, and uh, I looked through their website, and it was actually pretty intuitive and pretty easy to follow. Um, so their website looks kind of like this. If you um, hover over tubes right here, it will allow you to choose tubes by category. You can choose tubes by exactly what kind you need, um, or you can choose tubes by the brand, categories they have power tubes preamp tubes rectifier microphone rare nos and then tubes by amp so for me i just went over to the section of here tubes by amp and i know my amp that i'm looking for um, it was a vox ac30 c2 so i just have the green backs in there nothing fancy um, and it pops up with the two suggested ones that would be great for you now these are replacement tubes vox ac30s come with some china Made in China tubes. Um, the JJ's are an upgrade. Um, but I was curious what other tubes I had options for. Now they're not going to have everything in stock, but where it says similar tubes, you can click and it'll show you all the other options for that specific type of power tube and then all these specific options for that style of preamp tube. Uh, you can click up here on high quality set and it will pull in, you know, some tongue sole ones. You could do best quality. Uh, then you got a Jang GE or a Jan GE and a uh, Genlex, Genlex Gold Lion. Um, cool. I know nothing about those tubes. So what's nice about their website is if you don't know anything about these tubes, you're not sure about buying replacement tubes, um, you can click on that item and it'll give you a nice little type up on what it does well, what it's used for, why it costs maybe as much as it does. I mean, this was a more expensive one. Um, some of them are rare, some of them not made as much. They have gold incorporated into the connections and stuff like that. Um, so that, you know, that's something to consider. Um, you can obviously be pretty cheap with them. And like I showed here, you can be pretty expensive. They're all over the place. So it's best to kind of click on these and read and see what you're getting and why you're getting those types of things. Um, the big thing for me though, uh, was tube, uh, what well, was biasing. Um, that's kind of like one of those mysterious things that they have out on the internet of, do I bias my amp? What are the things I need to do? How uh, do I need to pay someone to do it? Uh, it's actually more simple than you think. Uh, Sweetwater, um, has an awesome write-up on it. What is two biasing? How does it work? Why you should care? You can read through it. Um, at the end of the day, like <clears throat> the best way to describe it, um, you know, after reading this article, is it talks about how like it's basically the the amount of voltage that's applied to the tubes when they're in like an idle type of position. Um, you know, one of the articles talks about this guy, uh, Aspen Pittman, he gives a great example. He basically says it's like uh, the, the idle setting on a car's engine. Um, it's just basically making sure that your tubes get the right amount of power. If the tubes are biased a little hot, they might make a different sound. They might not last as long. If they're biased a little cold or they don't have as much voltage, uh, they might not get all that they need. They might not produce the sounds and the quality that you want in that amp, and uh, that could have a ne negative impact. Um, but what really made um, this article awesome and specific to my situation was when you kind of read through it all, it talks about the different types of biasing and things like that. Um, fortunately for me and most people who have a you know a smaller 35 of, or 30 watt or less amp, um, you get what's called cathode bias, which basically means um, self biasing. Right, um, the tubes basically will bias themselves. Um, Think of it as like a regulator almost. Um, with this type of 30 watt or less, those amps um, are called cathode bias power tube circuits. Um, so basically you can plug in new tubes and you're all set. Um, with some of the more vintage style amps, 50 watts, uh, you know, 45, 35 watts, some of those amps, it's always good to just research it, know what you're getting into. But with some of those amps, yeah, you will need to pay someone to um, 
you know, uh, bias those in a specific way that's needed so you don't damage your amp or, you know, damage your stuff. One of the cool ones, though, I did find was Mesa Boogie. Um, they have their own tubes that are specifically made for their heads and amps, and it's you just plug and play, even though they're 50, 100-watt amp heads. I um, thought that was pretty cool. Um, and worth the share. But yeah, Sweetwater has a great uh, amount of information. So if you guys are ever curious about, you know, where do I go? What do I do? I, I'm just a Google nerd. I Google everything. Just so happens Sweetwater had a great write up on it. Um, a lot of the chat rooms were saying the same thing. There's, you know, you know, all kinds of, you know, type of forums that people will chat on and stuff. And um, this was just a great um, type up from the source itself. So um, I'm going off that. I got some new tubes through Tube Depot. Um, the ones that I got, I actually uh, ran into an article that was talking about um, mixing your preamp tubes. Um, the types of preamp tubes that you can get into, as you can see, are a lot more than the power tubes. Um, and so I got some good power tubes. In fact, I did get the JJ EL84 power tubes, as you see here. For the preamp tubes, um, I got some of the high performance 12 AX7. And then I had the uh, ECC 803s uh, uh, high performance gold pin. Uh, this one they said kind of gave a little bit more oomph to them. So I mix and matched the high performance JJ ones. Um, I did two of the uh, you know high performance and I did one of the gold pin. They said this is good in position three. Um, position three, if you get into that and like where to put the preamp tubes, you'll see when you flip your amp over and get ready to take stuff out, there's only so many slots for power tubes and only so many slots for preamp tubes. Um, if you go and get your diagram online, um, I wish I can show you how I would do here. I do Vox AC30, um, I don't know, amp diagram. Um, you can kind of see and you kind of have to kind of search through it and dig through it, but you'll see, you know, where your, your preamps go. You have one, two, three, and then you have four power amp, um, section. And so, you know, you'd have V1, this is V2, V3. Um, and if you read through these tube forms, you know, they have on that write up, it'll tell you if anyone's had really good luck in V3 or V2 or, you know, V1 and it explains why. Um, so that's what I did. Um, and then I'll also be showing you guys how I put them in my amp, what it sounds like before. So you get a good idea of what a dying power amp section sounds like. I'm not going to play too long in that cause it can, you know, have a negative impact on your amp. Uh, then I'll put the new tubes in and I will show you guys what it sounds like with the new tubes and we can compare and contrast the differences. All right, and just so you guys can see, master volume is all the way up. Those are my settings on everything else. Uh, that will just kind of paint the picture that it is not very loud and you'll be able to hear that doesn't quite bite through. So all the way up here. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, take out all the screws, take off the back, and uh, we'll get into replacing these tubes. Cool. So it should come off just like this. And I will set it to the side. Cool. So this is what the... Uh, back part of the box will look like um, these four right here are your power uh, tubes and these three are your preamp tubes so how you take them out pretty simple there's a little black kind of rubber band you know grommet type thing on right here you'll just slide that off like this I'm going to set it to the side right there and then this metal part you just pull down and over the uh, power tubes. Uh, here. 
are on there. There you go, just like that. Give it a little shake. And it'll come out just like that. These are the, you can see these are the ones that are made in China that come with the end. And you will do that for each and every single one. This one you kind of have to slide, twist and pop off like that. Um, you can see it has little kind of hooks in there and then this will pull out just like the other ones. Cool, so all the tubes are out. Let's put in the new ones. So here are my power tubes. They come kind of rubber banded together in the box. These are all the same. So nothing's really kind of too fancy with these ones. Um, JJ's got pretty high reviews uh, across the board. Um, they'll come in a box like this. And they may be a little tricky to get out. Just depends. They'll come out like that. And this is my new power amp tube and you can see that there is one prong missing and that's just to indicate that's how it goes in that they have a set amount of prongs that go in and this will just let you know what direction how it needs to go into uh, the power amp so we will put it in as it specifies just like this we'll get it all the way in there Okay, what I'll do is we'll keep doing that just down the line here. Now we're going to do the preamp tubes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gold pin, uh, the, the high performance one that they recommended in V3, which would, this would be V3, that's V1. I'm going to have these two be the same, but V3 I'm going to have be the gold pin one. And just to show you what the gold pin one is, it will have gold pins. And that's why these ones are a little bit more expensive, which is okay, but you can see there, it has some gold pins on it. Kind of a fancier tube, you know. So we'll put that one in V3, which is, again, this one right here. And it should just slide right in like that. Um, they do gold on them. I think gold has a, different conductivity than, as you can see, yeah. the normal ones. I don't know if they're nickel, some type of metal, um, could be silver. Yeah, we're gonna put the same two, V1 and V2. And they should just slide right in like that. There you go. the last one there you go all right so all the new tubes are in we're gonna put this one back on oh. and then these metal things will just come back oop, up and over like that and they kind of hang on to that little bottom lip of the tube and these will just kind of hold it in place so the tubes don't jiggle loose if you're moving them or anything like that okay and then you just put these little rubber band things on they, they will go over the metal and like the tip of the tube it kind of holds it all together and you'll see that's how they'll be when you pull them off but it kind of just holds everything together. If they fall off, it won't be the end of the world, but you'll just want to check your tubes a little more and just make sure that 
they are all in place and intact in the way that they should be. But yeah, these are real easy to put on and all that. So just go on like this. There we go. Now we will uh, put the back on and we'll be all good to go. All right. Let's hear how they sound. So I'm going to start with my volumes all the way down and bring them up slowly. New tube should be a little bit more powerful. Right, guys thanks for tuning in and watching the video uh, if there's any questions anyone has feel free to drop a comment below um, i will leave a link to tube depot um, where i bought the tubes that i used in this video so if you guys want to use that website feel free um, and yeah uh, feel free to uh, subscribe and comment and like and all that good stuff and uh, stay tuned for the next video peace out guys